Hey what's up guys it's Mark here and today I'm going to show you how to export from Premiere Pro to Instagram Reels. First off, if you're getting video for Instagram Reels, either shoot vertically or shoot in 2.7K or 4K, higher than 1080p if you're going to shoot horizontally. Just because we are going to use, be using an aspect ratio of 1080 by 1920. So just 1020p but reverse to make it vertical. Um, the reason you don't want to shoot a 1080p video horizontally is that hey, you're just going to have to scale it up to go um, to get it to be vertical. And that's not what we want if you want a high quality video. So I'm gonna, I just exported in my video clip here that I shot from Harrison Beach in BC. And it's a drone shot. I'm going to show you the settings for this. The properties is 2.7K at 24 frames per second. So now what we're going to want to do is create a sequence and you're going to see here and it's that it's going to be 1080p 24. That's perfect. Except we're going to reverse the frame size. So horizontal is going to be 1080 and vertical is going to be 1920. That gives us a 9.916, 9 by 16, sorry, aspect ratio. And we're just going to go ahead and press OK. And we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to trim my clip here. Awesome. So as you can see, this is a horizontal video, but now we're going to drag it into our timeline and press keep existing settings. And it's going to give us these black bars on top because it is a horizontal video. Since though that it's 2.7 K, we are allowed to scale up. We're going to go ahead and just scale it to like 126. And that gets rid of the black bars right on top and below. And now we have the video on our timeline completely vertical. Perfect. And now if you want to do some editing on here, then feel free. I'm just going to add like a lens flare and I'm going to add a LUT just to give it some spice. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so export settings, we're going to press Control M and make sure it's H.264. Um, you can make sure it's high or match source high bitrate, but I already have an Instagram stories preset, which is pretty much the same thing. So I'm just going to export it to my desktop and call it Insta Reels. Perfect. And I'm going to show you what my settings are. So just leave this checked. Leave this check, leave this check, check, and render maximum depth. Profile will be high and level will be 5.2. And my bitrate is CBR at 25 megabits per second. Keep this as used maximum render quality and that should be it. Hit export and once it's exported, get it onto your phone. Somehow I have an iPhone. I just use Google Drive. I drag and drop from my desktop to Google Chrome to my Google Drive, sorry. And then from Google Drive on my phone, I download it to my photos. So I'm gonna see you on my phone. All right, so now that you have your video on your phone, go ahead and head to Instagram and just swipe to the left there and you're gonna see that you're on your camera. You can see my keyboard right now and a little bit of my finger, hello. And then you're gonna just, at the bottom here, it usually be on, um, it would be on story, just click real and then click on the bottom left icon to import your video. I'm going to go ahead and import. It's right here. Perfect. Now that you have that, click on the check and then click on the right arrow. But you know what? I'm going to add an audio and I love this little audio right here. So I'm just going to do that press done and go to see the final product and it looks amazing it looks perfect let's see that lens flare come in and once you're good with that we're gonna go ahead and press the button on the right and you can upload your reels it's up to you to write a caption to put hashtags do whatever you want just 
click share when you're done and that's pretty much it that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys learned something if you have any questions just put them in the comment section below and i'll try to answer them this is mark signing off peace out